ever wonder why pro players kill faster than you well today i have three pro tips and the main reasons why as always likes are much appreciated comment down below that you enjoy these type of videos and don't forget to subscribe but let's get right into the first tip and this is a very important one and probably the most important we're going to be talking about peekers advantage or even cameraing as they call it essentially what you're doing in this situation is you're going to be jumping around a corner very quickly and snapping on your opponent basically getting that first shot to execute the kill now let me show you in real time all right time to camera my man Hercules. all right let's do test number two are you ready shoot the kill so you can see even though he has the advantage on the head glitch i still kill him let me show you another example here sprint the fire yep that's cameraing that's how good it is so for one last demonstration this is why cameraing is so important and jump shotting around corners is so good in this game he is right now he's around there he's gonna be preaming me i'm gonna jump around this corner and ads and he just does not stand a chance so that was tip number one for tip number two this is going to be talking about the headshot multiplier and how the pros aim high they aim for the chest upper torso or for the head and the headshot multiplier is actually insane in this game and it can be a two to three shot kill sometimes and i'm going to demonstrate that with body shots and then headshots for the first kill i'm going to shoot you just in the stomach okay one two three four four shots all right now i'm going to aim for the head headshot multiplier one two three one whole less bullet and some guns it could be easily two bullets so just based off the demonstration you can see that headshot multiplier is insane and it's a real thing in call of duty that's why when people get those lucky recoil shots where the gun goes up they get the headshots they die faster you probably have had some deaths where you've died insanely fast and that is exactly a reason why so when you're shooting at your enemy you always want to try to aim high not low center up and aim high try to go for the head and if you can't even just the upper shots the next shots all that is really good spot to kill your opponent faster and get those insane kills and got him for tip number three we're going to be talking about positioning and angles and in mw2 you also want to have your gun up and ready for gunfights because the ttk is insanely fast and usually the pre-aimer is rewarded not always as you guys realize in the first two tips especially the first one but basically this is a good example of angles and off angles right here my opponent cannot see me and i have a clear sight of his leg and this is kind of the right angle side advantage where you have when you're kind of coming from the right and he's coming from the left so as you can see i can see we're on the same muffle v we're in the same thing and i can see almost half of his body and he can't see me at all bert can you see me right now nope so right now for example i can see you know like your right side i see basically almost your whole leg your shoulder and this is the advantage of like an off angle in a way like if you come around my angle right now and i'm holding the right angle while you're coming from the left i have like the angle on you i have basically the first shot almost every time this is important when it comes to cameraing as well when you're trying to camera someone you have to understand that the left angle is usually a slight disadvantage in the right if i'm going to camera you right now bert i usually want to come from the right angle versus the left because because I'm gonna have that peeker's advantage even more. So I wanna, like, this is a perfect way to camera you from the right here, like this, versus if I'm coming from the left, even though you can do it both ways, but the right would always be better, the more you know. That's why, like, you ever see in Warzone, people will jump around a doorway and not fully challenge, because they know, like, if they challenge from this left side, they're probably dead. So they, like, try to get the right angle, and then they reach out from the right like that. Not only in Warzone, but, like, people will do that on purpose, kind of get that right angle advantage. It's kind of hard to camera with someone on the left. You can do it, it's just harder. Well, now that I've demonstrated these three insane tips time to show it in real time in a real game and show you how op these things are and break them down just a little bit more so i shared with you guys the three secret pro tips uh why pro players go fast and now it's time to demonstrate it in a real game and in real time basically what i'm talking about oh my god you gotta win that one keys let me tell you you gotta win that one too bud and as we all know, pro players have a good shot. We do the right things. We snap on people just like that. But there's other things we do right, like, you know, cameraing people, positioning better, off angles. And as you can see, I'm already doing a good job of doing just that. My my teammate actually needs some help here. And, you know, I'm not going to let him out to dry. I'm going to come help him. I'm trying to, like, kind of help him. But he's not really helping me help him. So come back for him. For this guy. For this good guy gonna get the second guy now off angles are really good in cod and off angles are basically holding an angle where they have to push into your pre-aim and just like that i end up popping the three piece doing just exactly that but off angles are essentially holding a pre-aim where they kind of have to push into it and you have that right angle advantage now off angles are really good to catch your opponent off guard 
kind of get that first shot, lock it in, and, you know, get the... It basically put them at a disadvantage. And I've gotten some crazy kills, you know, in during an off angle. You know, I could be one shot and I'll get a crazy kill. So people got to understand how good off angles actually are. There's a guy here. I've been looking for him for a minute. Kill this guy. Turn around. Tap on that guy. Slide away really quickly. These guys are all spawning here to my left. I'm not going to stim right here. These guys are going to push me here in a second. Get a preem real quick. Follow the off angle. And that's another example of an off angle. I got direct shotted by a driller, bro. That is actually... That is That sucks, man. But you can see, like, the off angle and the... And the, the that's a good demonstration of the off angle and the positioning in MW2. Uh, like, I just get these free shots. I get these free kills. By the time they shoot me, I'm already aiming at them and they're dead. Now I'm going to go for a camera here. I actually miss and stop shooting there but you can see like usually i'm centered in the middle of my screen i'm aiming high as i'm running around ready headshot look at that insta dead and i try to do these things while i'm playing at all times and this is the reason why i kill people very fast you know a lot of people are mind blown they go holy schmoly man i just died so fast or i can't kill app he keeps killing me etc 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 well doing these doing these right things are obviously going to get you those results Hit the preem real quickly, strafe out, reach out again with quick fix on. These guys are pushing their spawns. I think we blocked the spawn here. Pull that, get that. So out of all the tips, the one thing I will say is cameraing people and, you know, essentially a, a, a easy way to explain it is Peeker's advantage is going to be your best friend laser and to do that i mean we talked about it you can jump around a corner very quickly uh you can catch someone you know running at you in an off angle but usually what you want to do is you want to jump around a corner or sprint around a corner very quickly just like that and they basically can't react i am gonna get shot by another guy which is just tough so while i'm playing one thing i always always try to implement in my gameplay is and i mean always is you're gonna either watch me you know hammering someone or holding someone in an off angle like i'm doing one of those things every time and then if i need to go for the upper shots i'll go for the upper, upper shots you guys can clearly see in my game like i definitely aim high no matter what i kind of it's just like natural to me it's like kind of what you want to do nice little flank here and i stop cut the clip cut the clip but people think aggression is dead in mw2 i understand this game is meant for a slower play style i'm not gonna stay here and say like it's some fast game but as you can see I'm playing, I'm playing at a very fast pace and I'm doing just fine. You do have to be more of a skilled player to acquire this. It's more, it's a mix of movement and uh, aim and obviously understanding gun skill to the max. Uh, a good example of that gun skill is, you know, the three tips I'm giving you guys right now to improve your gun skill and really allow you to get more kills in this Call of Duty MW2. And as always, guys, man, if you enjoyed the content, you enjoyed the tip videos or you enjoyed the insight and the knowledge, make sure to drop that like. Kill this guy, kill this guy. Didn't actually get that kill. I know there's a guy over here. And I lost him. I lost him. Where'd you go, buddy? Where'd you go? I'm just trying to find you. Run around the corner. I can't run this guy. See how I aggressively jump around the corner and jump shot it? Get the headshot on that guy. Nice. Love that. Oh no, I ran out of ammo. Uh, 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 worst nightmare. Oh my god. That's some ammo. At 15 bullets. Kind of terrified. Should be able to get this ammo here. Trying to get some ammo, man. Good example of a camera right there. There we go. I'm almost, I'm almost up to his advance. I spoke too soon every time. So when you're running around the map, the way you got to view it is momentum. And basically running around the corners very quickly. Using your tactical sprint. Even jump shotting around the corners. And getting ready to camera somebody. Like I'm going to jump shot around this corner. It's a free kill. And if you do it correctly and you catch your opponent off guard, well, nine out of ten times, they're not going to be able to kill you. And that's something I abuse all the time against some of the best players in the world. That guy. So I'm going to get very aggressive right here. Throw a nade right here. Got through a Joe charge. Kill that guy. Kill that guy. Wait for the quick fix. Guy still in this corner. Kill him. Got three right there. I think it's time to do one thing and one thing only. It's flank these guys. The first guy. Second guy. Third guy. Get in the hill, teammates. Get in the hill, teammates. I'm thinking, I'm taking care of business right now, teammates. I, that's what I get. Should have held the cut. I should have held the cut. That's what you just. Oh my god, that guy's got lasered. You gotta get in the hill. Huge. 
Thank you guys for watching today's video. If you enjoyed this type of content, leave it down in the comments below. Make sure to drop a like. It is much appreciated. And subscribe to the channel. I'll be doing some more of these. And as always, you can check me out at twitch.tv slash apathy. I'm live every day. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Peace.